What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the iPhone SE 2020 Walmart case lineup. I've got about five different cases in front of me, two from Black Web, one from Walmart's generic electronics brand On, and two from Incipio. The Incipio cases uh, were two of the most expensive. Actually, the Black Web Rugged case was the second most expensive, coming in at $19.88. The Incipio Dual Pro Pure was the most expensive case, coming in at $19.94. The Incipio Elan Co-Molded Impact case was the third most expensive at $14.94. The Black Web phone case, it's just a simple silicone phone case for the iPhone 6, 6S, 7, and 8. All of these cases, by the way, are for the 6, 6S, 7, and 8. And so today we're going to be finding out if you're going to be good to go or not, seeing if they fit for the SE 2020. Uh, don't be thrown off by the fact that they say 6, 6S, 7, and 8. Uh, reports have already hit the internet that the iPhone 8 is basically identical to the iPhone SE 2020. So without further ado today, we're just gonna go ahead and clarify this uh, ongoing discussion if the iPhone SE 2020 is different from the 8 or not by testing out if the cases from the 8 still work on it. So today we're gonna find out if you are good to go in that department. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into some unboxings and take a first look at each of these cases. We've got five of them. Uh, before we get into that, uh, be sure to hit that like Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Uh, the first case that we're going to take a look at, actually, is the clear rugged phone case with holster by Blackweb. This case, like I said at the beginning of the video, came in at $19.88. It is the second most expensive case here. All these cases are under $20, bucks, by the way, but this one is uh, a protective rugged case. Uh, it was rigorously drop tested to 15 feet, so that's really cool. Uh, what actually was kind of unfortunate, uh, they didn't make a rugged case for the 11 Pro Max, just the 11 Pro and the 11, uh, but what's really nice is to see is they do make it for the iPhone uh, SE, basically, and it is under $20, so that is really nice. So the case just slides right on out here, which is really nice, and uh, Right off the bat, I can see a problem, and I think you guys will notice it as well, but I think someone may have returned this case previously and put in the black holster, uh, unless the black, unless the holster is just black anyway. Uh, really nice, hefty case so far, and uh, really digging the durability of it so far. You get a really nice holster, which I like. It is in black, it's not in clear. I think that is on purpose. I don't think that is by accident. Uh, what's really nice is you do get some product information once you open up the case. So it has smart port protection. Uh, and actually, if you look at the bottom of the port there, you can see that there is sort of a layer uh, around it. So that'll keep it from getting dust on the inside and potentially water, which is really nice and really helpful. I'm not going to go ahead and read the instruction guide, but I think it's as simple as um, basically peeling back, uh, this is like a two layer case. Uh, peel these two cases apart there. Cases can be pretty complicated, so that top piece comes off there. And you can just slide in your iPhone SE 2020 like so. So we'll go ahead and just put on that top layer. It snaps right into place. Uh, this is extremely protective. You dropping this will not have any effect on the device whatsoever. So, so far what I really like is the buttons are very tactile, they're very clicky. Sometimes when you uh, mess around with cases that have this thick outer shell like this, they can either line up improperly and uh, the buttons aren't as clicky and they can be kind of mushy, but no problems whatsoever uh, with this black web rugged case. And then we'll just go ahead and take the holster here, slide the phone down into it, and as you can see, you get a nice holster which is uh, really good for clipping onto your waist. Okay, next up is the phone case. It also is for the 6 6S 7 and 8 by Blackweb. This case was pretty inexpensive. It was, I think it was 988. It was the 
second least expensive case of the bunch. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, what's really nice is there's no tape to sort of give me uh, a hard time here. Once you get all that junk out, it's just a simple iPhone 6 success, 7 and 8 case. If you guys remember from the Google Pixel 3a, uh, it also came in a sort of purplish color. This is sort of an off-white purplish color. Definitely not feminine at all, but um, it, what's really nice is it does have this sort of felt interior. This is very similar to an Apple silicone case, just without the Apple um, logo on it, uh, just what it looks like there. You know, it doesn't have the Apple logo on it, obviously, and uh, what's actually really nice is there is some added protection at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and just slide the iPhone. And uh, the buttons are a little bit mushy compared to the rugged case, but they still work. Uh, on, off, on, off. You do get a lay on the table design. If I wanna go ahead and flip it over and lay it face down, you can. Really nice as you can see that it does fit perfectly well with the iPhone SE 2020. That is really good to hear. And you guys should be pretty much good to go with this case. And you should be pretty good to go with that rugged case as well. Okay, so we have the Incipio Dual Pro Pure. This case cost uh, $19.94. It was the most expensive case out of the bunch. Uh, what's really nice is you do get a little uh, greeting that says thank you for choosing Incipio. Really nice case. This is the Dual Pro Pure, so I believe it is a uh, dual layer case. Uh, what's really nice is it's sort of rubber on the inside, which I really like. It's not felt like the black web case. And as you can see, it just comes apart like that. And uh, what you want to do is uh, first you want to clean off your iPhone so it looks really good before you put it in the case. And then you sort of just want to plop it right into this silicone case here. Uh, as you can see, uh, red and blue, maybe they go together, maybe they don't. But then all you gotta do is just plop it into this uh, outer shell, the plastic outer shell. And uh, what's really nice is uh, the buttons are definitely mushier on this case, but uh, as you can see there, really nice uh, design with red and blue. There you can see it in the hand, really well protected as well. But. Uh, I will be honest with you, it does fit the iPhone SE 2020 uh, well. Uh, the buttons are just a little bit mushy. I don't think that's a problem with the case not fitting right. I just think that's a problem with Incipio. I think they just need to design this a little bit better. Next up is the Incipio Elan co-molded impact case. Go ahead and just get into it here, pull it out really like Incipio cases. I think uh, they're actually of really great quality. Uh, we'll just go ahead and pop out this sort of uh, welcome tag on the inside. Again, it says, thank you for choosing Incipio, which I really like. And uh, this case is actually more akin to the speaking cases that I reviewed um, a couple of days ago, except uh, there is a slight difference and uh, you really get this cool texture on the outside of the case. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but the, it sort of has this uh, perforated uh, edge around the case itself to give it a better grip. It's sort of this rib design. Uh, and of course you get this clear back, so that should look pretty sharp. We'll go ahead and clean off the iPhone so it looks really good as we put it into the case. We'll go ahead and just slide it down in there and it's really simple to install. Uh, again, with the Incipio cases, uh, the buttons are just really hard to press. Maybe they have to break in a little bit, but they are uh, working as you can see. I'm turning the phone on and off. Uh, there is what the phone looks like in hand. As you can see, it looks absolutely phenomenal with that product red. Uh, you do get that lay on the table design with this Incipio Elan uh, case. So all of these cases, by the way, have a lay on the table design that work really well. And last but not least, we have the On case. This is just a generic phone case from Walmart. It is for the 6, 6S, 7, and 8. Uh, this one should be the most interesting to get in. Cut right through this here and pull the case out, hopefully. Hopefully it's as easy uh, said as done. We'll just go ahead and rip this case apart here. I don't plan on returning it, by the way. It was only five bucks, so. And uh, this is just a simple, you know, clear phone case. Uh, let's go ahead and 
wipe the iPhone SE off real quick. And uh, yeah, this case was the cheapest of the bunch. It was $5, but it fits really well and actually is pretty thin. So if you're like looking for a thin clear case and you just wanna show off that product red, uh, that's what it looks like in the hand there. Really sharp case, love the product red. Uh, it does have that lay on the table design. So uh, if you wanna lay it upside down, you don't have to worry about it touching the screen. Uh, really sharp case, not bad for five bucks. Really not bad for five bucks. Anyways guys, that has been a Walmart case lineup for the iPhone SE 2020. Because I picked these cases up at Walmart, that makes them a big box good. I hope you guys like this quick rundown of all of those cases from Walmart. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that like, subscribe, maybe browse the channel, check out some of my other videos. Uh, let me know about the progress that I've been making over the past few months. I think I'm getting better at this. My name is John, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.